Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the largest, smallest and second largest of three numbers using simple if statement. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular base iostream.h header file. The next preprocessor is hash include in angular base will write console input output dot h header file now we are going to write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section i am going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program using the data type int here i am going to take three variables a comma b comma c and then i'll take one more variable called largest then i'll write sec largest that is second largest and then i'm going to write smallest and then put semicolon now we are going to write clr as a cr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter three numbers using cout statement stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter three numbers End the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the input from user through keyboard using cin statement stream extraction operator a stream extraction operator b stream extraction operator c and then put semicolon so let us initialize a to largest variable so a is equated to the largest variable next i am going to write variable called smallest is equal to a and then put semicolon now we are going to use the selection statement if b is greater than largest if it is true then largest must be assigned with value b next we are going to use the simple if statement and then we are going to check if c is greater than largest then largest is equal to c and then put semicolon similarly i'm going to write if b is less than smallest then here i have to write smallest is equal to b next if c is less than smallest then we have to write smallest is equal to c and then put semicolon now uh, we are going to check out for second largest here i'm going to write sec largest because this is the name of the variable which we have taken over here so i have written sec largest is equal to i'll add a plus b plus c together then i'm going to subtract this one from largest plus smallest that gives us the second largest and put semicolon now we are going to print the values stored in largest smallest and second largest so in a double quotation mark i'm going to write largest number is end the double quotation mark and stream insertion operator and here i'm going to write largest and then stream insertion operator will use endl so that brings the cursor down to the next line which is similar to backward slash n escape sequence next we'll write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write second largest is end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and then i'll write sec largest because the value will be stored in this particular variable so stream insertion operator end l next we'll write c out statement stream insertion operator and here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write smallest number is end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and then we are going to write the variable called smallest and here i'm going to write stream insertion operator end l and put semicolon here i'm going to write get ch function then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter three numbers here i'm going to write enter three numbers 
then I'm going to enter for example 20 10 30 so the first number 20 will be assigned to the variable a next second number 10 will be assigned to the variable B and the last third number is assigned to the variable C next here largest is equal to a so here I'm going to write largest is equal to a value is 20 and then smallest is equal to a so that is also 20 next we are going to check out this condition if b is greater than largest so here we'll check out b is 10 so here i'm going to write b is 10 greater than largest is what 20 so whether it is true or false it is false 10 is not greater than 20 hence this particular assignment will not takes place it is going to check out the next condition next if c is greater than largest c is what 30 greater than largest is what 20 yes 30 is greater than 20 hence it is true if it is true then this particular initialization takes place here the largest value is equated with value c c is 30 so now the value of this variable is updated with the value 30 okay next we are going to check out if b is less than smallest next i am going to check out if b is b is what 10 less than smallest smallest is what here 20 so 10 is less than 20 yes it is true once it is true then this initialization takes place so it is going to print or assigns smallest is equal to value of b that is 10 is assigned to smallest next we are going to check out this condition if c is less than smallest c is 30 correct so less than smallest is what smallest is now it is 10 okay because it is updated so earlier it was 20 now it is updated with value 10 now 30 is less than 10 no condition fails once the condition fails then this particular statement will not get executed and after that we have seen the second largest here i'm going to write sec largest variable is equal to a plus b plus c a is 20 b is 10 c is 30 so i'm going to write 20 plus 10 plus 30 minus largest plus smallest here you can see largest is 30 plus smallest is what smallest is 10 here so i'm going to write 10 let us further simplify so here 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 30 is 60 minus 30 plus 10 is 40 so for 60 minus 40 is 20 he is assigned to second largest now we are going to print all of these three c out statements so what it is going to print it is going to print largest number is here i'm going to write largest number is and then it is going to print the value stored in a variable called largest here largest is assigned with value 30 so it is going to print 30 next just because of this end cursor come down to the next line and it is going to print second largest is second largest is then the variable sec largest is holding value 20 here i'm going to write 20 next the last statement is smallest number is smallest number is smallest here you can see the variable is holding value 10 so it is going to print 10 now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the three numbers for example i'm going to enter first 20 10 then 30 and then i'll press enter here you can see it is printing smallest number is 10 second largest number is 20 largest number is 30 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.